咁第三十六條呢，又係非常直白啦，又問返我哋呢，下面邊個過程呢？主要呢，係牽涉到滲透嘅。A 呢個呢，就係水由木質部去運送，呢個係蒸騰牽引力，所以 A 就錯咗啦。B 呢，就話水蒸氣呢，由氣孔嗰處呢去流走，呢個係擴散啦。而 Option C 同 D 呢，就想大家留意返二零一六年嘅 Pass Paper 啦。其實嗰條呢，我哋都一齊做過㗎，我哋就會知道呢，原來 Option D 呢，都係錯啦，因為啦，當啲水由組織逆返返去淋巴微管嘅時候呢，係透過個水壓呢去拱佢哋入去嘅，所以答案呢，就係、是、當啲水由組織逆返。翻翻去微血管嘅時候咧，呢、这個就係滲透啦。個原因就係因為喺血入面咧，仍然有血漿蛋白，就會令到血嘅水勢咧就會係低過喺我哋組織液入面嘅水勢，所以啦，啲水咧就會經過滲透咧，由組織液翻翻去微血管嘅血入面啦。Question thirty six is asking which of the following processes mainly involve osmosis? Option A: movement of water along the xylem vessels is the transpiration. Pool. And the movement of the water vapor out of the stomata, it is a diffusion. So that's why options A and B they are wrong. And for option C and D, we need to refer to the question in 2016. That's the tissue fluid and the lymphatic system. And then we can know that the movement of water from tissue fluid to lymph capillaries in human is due to the hydrostatic pressure. So that's why the answer will be option C. Movement of water from tissue fluid to capillary in human is by osmosis. How can we know that? Because the plasma protein remain in the blood, so the water potential of the blood at the very end of the capillary is lower than that of the tissue fluid. So there will be a net movement of water from the tissue fluid go back to the capillary by the osmosis.